Mimi with Colored Valley Cooks. Now, some of y'all seen our little taco skillet video. This one's more like a burrito skillet. It's gonna have chunks of chicken in it with some rice and beans. It's gonna be really good with some good flavor. So it's really quick to put together too. You can serve it in burritos rolled up or you can serve it just with some bread or however you wanna do it. It's fine, corn on the cob. So we're gonna get started. I've got two chicken breasts and I am chopping them up in cubes. And we're gonna put this um, in the skillet and saute it once we saute our onion. Now, whenever you cut up chicken, you need to make sure and use a different cutting board that you use for your vegetables. If you'll see, I use this one for my chicken and my meat, and I actually put it in the dishwasher, and that way I know it gets good and clean. I don't wanna put meat on my wooden cutting boards because they do absorb the, the liquids and the juices, and so I personally, now some people do it, but I personally um, don't like to do that. If you've got your own wooden ones that are for meat, I guess that's okay. But it's, uh, this is just how I like to do mine. Now you're gonna cut your chicken up into cubes and just leave it on your cutting board for now. Go over here and wash your knife off good in your hands and we're gonna get uh, back over here and start chopping up these vegetables. We're gonna be adding some spices and stuff, but I'm gonna bring my skillet back over here and put those in over here so y'all can see it good when the time comes. We're also gonna cut up some tomato and some green onion to serve over the top of it when it's done pretty much. So right now we're just gonna hop over here and saute our chicken um, in a little olive oil with some salt and pepper for now. I'm going to salt and pepper it. Now you're going to be using some chicken broth. I got broth and uh, actually I'm using stock because I like it. Uh, but you can use broth if that's what you got. About two and a half cups. We'll be using that in a few minutes because uh, we got to cook the rice too. This is going to take about 30 minutes once we get it together to finish cooking. I'm going to turn this up on high. I had it down on low, just preheating. And we're going to get this uh, pretty much seared good. And then we're going to put it in a pan on the side. So while we're waiting on that to sear, I'm going to walk over here and drain these black beans. You're going to need a can of black beans. And so, just get you a strainer or something, and you're gonna drain these. They're all down in the bottom, stuck together, having a party. Now they're out of there. Now I'm just gonna put them well, actually, I'm not going to put them back in there. I'm just going to set them like that and put them on the counter. And um, hope you are having a great day. It is Monday, and Chris has been fishing today, and he's enjoyed himself. So now he gets to come home and get some good food, too. And you can eat this with chips, too. That's what Chris says he wants to eat it with. So you can always eat it with chips. It's taking it a few minutes to get nice and... Done. So just keep flipping it over, flipping it over until they look, you no, know, pretty much white around the whole piece of chicken. Okay, we're going to chop up a tomato and some green onion to serve when this gets finished. It'll be delish. Everybody loves tomato. Well, not everybody, 
My May is not crazy about tomatoes, but if you like tomatoes, chop up one. Serve it with this. I love them. I guess I could take that out of there. It's the top of the tomato. And now we're going to just chop up some green onion. These little green onions were tiny and kind of wimpy, so I got four of them. Just use your judgment. If you got big fat ones, use two. This is a recipe out of the Taste of Home. Chris found it for recipes for chicken breast, and he liked the looks of it. Want me to make it? I said, "Okie dokie, we'll do it." All right, I think this is ready. Now this chicken's gonna continue to cook on top of the rice. It's kind of gonna kind of steam um, while the rice is cooking. So it's been in here plenty long enough. So we're gonna sit it right here. And I think I'm gonna move that cheese away from it because it's hot. Now, we are going to add one cup of long grain rice to our skillet, or whatever it is you're using, and we're going to brown it a little bit. I got this on high. So we're going to brown our rice a little bit, um, just like you would if you're making rice a roni out of a box. Y'all know. Y'all made rice a before, hadn't you? I know my mama did. I know I sure did when I was younger. I made rice a all the time. I've always been one to, that just loves rice. And Chris has never been a rice kind of man. Um, but I love it and my girls love it too. But my mama hardly ever made rice when I was growing up, unless it was something like rice a uh, We weren't big rice eaters. We ate a lot of potatoes. Chris, did y'all eat rice at your house? Because we sure didn't eat it that much. No, we never ate rice. We didn't even eat rice a Really? No. Wow. I can't think of anything we ate rice in, actually. Yeah, when I went to tell y'all, y'all could serve this with bread, Chris was like, why are you telling them bread? This is a Mexican dish. I said, because there's plenty of people still out there that don't buy tortilla shells. They just buy whatever they can afford, which is one loaf of bread a week. And all, all they might have is some crusty bread or something like that to go with it. So it don't matter what you got. You just eat what you got. But if you can afford it, you can pick up some shells. Lots of times they're buy one, get one free, and when they are, I put one in the freezer. And you can eat sandwiches in them and roll them up too. They're not really any better for you if you get the rice kind. But, I mean, not the rice kind, but the flour kind. But you can buy the wheat kind. And they have them that are low carb and different stuff now. All right, that rice is starting to get a little brown, which is what we want it to do. All right, y'all ready to hear the sizzle? Now we're gonna add everything to the skillet. Two and a half cups chicken broth. You can use stock or broth, whatever you wanna use. Even if you got bouillon, just mix it two and a half cups worth of chicken bouillon. Okay. That goes in. Now you're gonna use a can of petite diced tomatoes. You're gonna put some juice in there too. A little bit like Mexican rice. You're gonna put in a can of drained black beans. Now, the good stuff, cumin. 
a teaspoon. Ground cumin, teaspoon. We'll have to mix it up. A half teaspoon of chili powder. Cumin and chili powder are almost the same thing. Chili powder is mostly cumin, but it's got a few of the things in it that cumin don't have. All right, then you've got a half teaspoon of onion powder, which is one of my faves. Never have too much onion powder in it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a little extra. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of onion powder in it. Cause I like it a lot. And then this is garlic powder. I'm just gonna use the half teaspoon because we're not big fans of garlic powder. Well, garlic salt, really. Garlic powder's not so bad. All right. Okay, now that everything's in here, we're gonna bring it over here, we're gonna stir it, and we're gonna bring it to a boil. And then once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna add our chicken. So let's go ahead and give it a good stir. Get those spices in there good. Because once you put that chicken in there, you're not going to move it around because you don't want the chicken to be all down in the other stuff too much. Okay, it's boiling. So we put the lid on it to get it hot quicker. You can see that it, we brought it to a boil. And you can actually see where the heat is because it's boiling around the edge. So we're going to put our chicken in. So we're just gonna put the chicken on the top while it's boiling, and we'll turn it down to simmer. Cook it about 20, 25 minutes, and that's gonna be it. It's gonna be ready, y'all. We're gonna see how this looks, and remember it's been in this brazier. I'll take the top off of it, and I have not touched it. We just walked off and turned on the timer. Looks good, don't it? Woo! I think I'm gonna get out a little sour cream for mine. Let me grab some sour cream. Uh, I mean, me and Chris are hungry, so we don't want to wait on it. But what you can do is put your cheese on the top of it while it's still sitting here. And uh, put the lid back on it, let the cheese melt. And then put on your tomatoes and onions. But now that hides some of the prettiness of it. So we wanted to show it to y'all in the, in the pan when we were dipping it. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for Chris. It's going to heat up, melt, and then I'll sprinkle the tomatoes and onions on there. And I might let y'all take another look at it when it's uh, melted. We're about to go to the grocery store, and I'm just going to get sour cream. I don't really need any without the kids' hair. This ought to last me and Chris a few days, quite a few days. It's like I got almost a whole thing of it. All right, we turn that timer off. Got out the cheese. We're going to have a nice, Find something to eat. I'm gonna eat chips with mine. So you can warm up your chips. It only takes a couple of minutes in the air fryer to warm up chips if you want to. I'm gonna put this on the plate. Put a little sour cream on the plate. Not a lot. And then sprinkle it with your tomato and onion. And we're going to put a little bit of cheese on it. Of course, you don't want to use the same hand that you just touched that tomato with. I'm going to eat it with chips. We're about to go to the grocery store. And what a better way to go than when your belly's full. I was just thinking um, in there, it's better to go when you're full because if you go to the grocery store hungry, boy, are you in trouble. Look how delicious that looks, y'all. Now, this is going to be a good meal, and it's a pretty good, you know, good for you meal. you got your rice in there with your grains, and you've got your beans with your fiber and your chicken. And uh, we're going to pretend it's delicious and good for us. It's not loaded full of cheese and stuff. So we're going to... Show Chris dipping his plate now, now that the cheese is all melted on the top. Lost all the cheese. 
That's all right. Not good as. Looks good and cheesy, y'all. I'm gonna taste the chicken. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So if you've got something to cook this in that has a good sealed lid, try to use it. So all that moisture stays in the chicken and goes into the rice. Y'all have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.